Damn it! You take him out or I will! Back off! I've almost got Tone! Nice kill, Hotshot! Well, you gonna finish him off? Forget it. The sector is clear. But what about the price on his head? I'm a fighter pilot, Tex. Not a murderer. Returning to base. So what's the news, Lyle? This new tax is driving costs up in Istanbul, Commander. That means missions are going to be even harder to come by, and customers won't have to take no for an answer for very long. We've always been on good terms with the fixers at Salim's before. We're a good business risk. Stern's always made it clear that when the Wildcats accept a mission and leave the bar, they won't be back until it's finished. But now it's going to be the cheapest squadron that gets the job, and not necessarily the best. That means that if we're going to maintain our reputation, we're going to have to do a lot of waiting for the right missions. I'm not afraid to let some slide. There'll always be work. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to go to Salim's to get us a mission. Good luck then, Commander. Thanks, Lyle. I'll catch you later. Hey, Commander, did you see the stuff we recovered from that storehouse? We nabbed a few crates of missiles, including some AMRAMs. Talk about easy targeting. We also snagged some expensive-looking computer parts. Virgil says we can dump it for good money. Not a bad run, Commander. We got rid of the computer equipment you grabbed, Commander. Got over a million for it, in fact. Not bad. Stern was able to order some extra ordnance with the cash. Keep up the good work. You seek guidance in your path? I seek a mission, Mohammed. You are unfamiliar to me. For whom do you work, my young friend? I'm Stern's lieutenant. He sent me here to find a mission. Excellent. Global Oil wishes a squadron to strike a local refinery owned by Transworld Petrochemical. And how much damage would we be responsible for? Very little, Effendi. This is a diversion only. It is merely intended to delay the landing of an incoming private jet. The plane will be carrying TWP board members who are due at a board meeting to discuss a stock purchase. Stocks which Global wishes to buy during the delay. The offer fee is three million American dollars. All right then, Mohammed. We'll take the job. May Allah smile upon you. Commander, you need to suit up immediately. Janet just radioed in from her patrol, and that Learjet is going to be in soon. Unfortunately, there's activity around the TWP runway. They're putting up aircraft. Vixen is going to need support and fast. Remember that you're to avoid conflict, if possible. Give them a scare, drop a few on their runway if you want to, but get those corporates to bug out. We're not out to destroy the place, though, and I don't want either of you hurt, so be careful out there.
Target sighted. Mayday! I'm going down! One for the history books! Mission accomplished. Return to base. Target sighted. Not on your life. I suppose.
Rebels out! I'm going in! Show off. All right, Paige. What's your excuse this time? You know you weren't authorized to destroy that jet. Innocent people were killed, and I will not allow that. Innocent, Commander? Our job was to prevent that plane from landing. Well, guess what? It didn't land. I've told you before, Janet, and I'll tell you again. If you can't live up to the standards I've set... Get out? With pleasure, Commander. Janet, you can't just... I'm sorry, Commander, but some things are more important than glorious ideals and shining reputations. Things like paying the bills. Goodbye. Commander, she only did what she thought was right. She's made her decision, Commander. You're dismissed. Tremendous job, Commander! This payoff will sure make balancing my books a little easier. Stern isn't happy that innocent people died for it. And what was the alternative? Failing the mission? I don't know, Virgil. It isn't as simple as that. Sure it is. Stern always forgets that this is a business. I hope you can remember that a little better. If you ask me, we need more pilots like Janet to keep us in business. We've got one less like Janet now, Virgil. She's gone. Too bad. Thanks to her, we're up on our mortgage payments now. Ah, Commander. Stern was looking for you. He's gotten us an assignment in Andes, Mallorca. We'll be leaving for there shortly. But right now, he wants you to meet him in back. He's talking to Jean-Paul Prideau, the leader of the Jackals. The Jackals? Isn't that the squadron that broke off from the Wildcats? Yes. Prideau and Stern had a falling out over finances. Prideau will do anything for profit, while Stern is more selective. Anyhow, Stern wants you to meet him. Go through the cafe to the far right. They're waiting for you. So, Stern, this must be your young protégé. Are you ready to assume command when Stern steps down? I suppose. I heard about you sparring a pilot and forfeiting a bonus. You're a fool, my young friend. Almost as bad as Stern is. I'll take that as a compliment. 
Not everyone would. Janet Page, for example. She joined my jackals yesterday. An excellent career decision. You see, Stern, your quaint ideals no longer have a place in this world. You're lost, Jean Paul. Nothing remains of the man you were. You are the only one would miss him, Stern. You have some hard lessons to learn if you're going to survive out there, my friend. You see, Stern doesn't play hard enough to make it. And I don't think you will either. I will say hello to Janet for you. Good day, gentlemen. So, Stern, this must be your young protégé. Are you ready to assume command? I suppose. I... <laughs> she jo You see, St you're quaint. You're lost. You are the only... So, Stern... Are you ready? Not she jo you see you 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 have you see good day Welcome to my war, amigos! Your first operation will be to support my ground troops by destroying Peruvian artillery and armored divisions, as well as a key stronghold near the border. They threaten my supply lines! Understood. And our payment, General Mendez? Gold bullion worth 20 million dollars on today's exchange, with 6 million paid in advance. An impressive offer for a support mission. What's the catch, Mendez? There is no catch, my friend. Those who help me are helped in return. And it keeps them from coming after you, too. There are some few who wish me dead. But they are outlaws, bandidos, my friend, and not civilized people like we are. Besides, they cannot pay nearly as much as us. Do you have any further questions, Commander Stern? That's all, General. Let's get going, Commander. Andes Majorca, a paradise on Earth. If you can avoid getting shot while sunbathing, this is one of the most war-torn areas of the globe, Commander. No kidding. I can't figure out why you accepted this one. Surrounding countries have demonstrated their hostility to Majorca. Sending assassins to kill the president, Jorge Mendez. I hate assassins, Commander. Besides, Mendez wants to unite the region, ending hostilities in South America. And by God, I'm going to see that he gets the chance. All right, listen up. I'll be taking baseline on my wing to attack the Peruvian stronghold. Commander, I want you and Phoenix to strike near targets. There are reports of enemy troop and armor movements in the mountains to the north. You two will cover your assigned patrol routes and clean out any areas where enemy forces are concentrated. Watch for close air support craft. Since Mendez tells us that incursions have stepped up, We'll see you back here. Good luck.
Enemy sighted. That's a Roger. to go to town. That's a Roger. Caution, caution. Caution, caution. That's a Roger.
That's a Roger. Watch the triple A! No can do. Enemy sighted. That's a Roger. No can do. Miguel, are Stern and Lyle back yet? They just came in a few minutes ago, Commander. The Peruvian base is out of commission entirely. But Lyle was nearly put out of commission as well. What happened? He had a sidewinder locked on his tail and dropped into a steep dive to shake it, then pulled up at 150 feet above the deck. He nearly bought it when he blacked out from the G's. I didn't think he had it in him. So, did we get our payment? Not yet. We're just waiting to hear from Mendez. Scramble all pilots! Scramble all aircraft! Bandits inbound! 
bearing 105 range, 30 miles altitude, 5,000 feet. Scramble! You heard the man, Miguel. Let's roll. Commander, I'm leaving you in charge, and going back to Mendez's palace for the rest of the gold. Without support? Let me fly your wing. No, defend the base at all costs. I want my people safe. Take Miguel and head off the enemy planes, so they don't have a chance to do any damage here. And watch your six, Commander. Affirmative, Commander. Good luck, Hawk. Roger on that. I have bandits on my screen. Roger on that.
moving to your six. Bandits inbound, requesting assistance. Satisfactory. Roger on that. I have bandits on my screen. Roger on that. Roger on that.
Roger on that. Mission accomplished. Return to base. You shouldn't have let him go alone. I was following orders. Of course, you don't know how to do nothing else. I believe in the chain of command, Tex. If you don't, maybe you ought to get the hell out. Hold on, an incoming message. Hawk to strike base. I haven't got much time. It's stern. Three, no, four bogeys. Peruvian markings. This damn C-130 maneuvers like a scow. I've got no chance. Can't eject. But I want to tell you all, you're the best damn squadron. Remember. I want the bastards that killed Stern, and I want them now. Sadly, mi amigo. It took a full ring of Peruvian swine to kill Stern. You could not possibly track them all down. And your loss is greater than you know. Your commander was returning from my palace with the gold when he died. Your payment was scattered over several miles of dense jungle. Lo siento mucho, commander. I wish I could make good the loss. But the gold was in your possession. My hands are tied, see? The gold is the least of it. Stern was like a father to me. I'll find the man who killed him, and when I do, I'll scatter him over several miles of dense jungle. The money may be lost, my friend, but if you still want revenge, there is something you can do. This is a difficult time for the Wildcats, Commander. Now it is up to you to lead us. Already your courage has saved the strike base, but now it must save the Wildcats too. I know that Mendes has offered us the opportunity for revenge, and we may need more weapons to carry out that mission. That responsibility too now falls upon your shoulders. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> 